Hey there YouTube, what is going on? It's the best one A out here to film another video for you and today we're going to talk about the tires that I have on my bike which are the Shinko 777s and I'll give you a little better view of those today. I'm not, I'm not going to tell you I am a professional tire viewer of tire reviewer of any sort but I just wanted to talk about them just to let you know what my experience is with them and how they have been for me. All right, YouTube, so we're back again, and we have the Shinko 777. That's gonna, just giving you a little bit of a better look. I have done a little bit of extra footage so that you can see. Now, I've had these tires on. The front tire I've had on for about maybe 3,000 miles. The rear I've had on for a little bit longer. Um, the rear has approximately, at this point, about 6,500 or so miles on it, and I really can't complain. Uh, one thing, my previous tires were uh, Michelin Commander 2, which was actually a really nice tire. One thing with the Commander 2s, they have a really harder carcass. So the actual side, th th this part of the tire, the construction, it's a little bit, it's a little bit firmer and you notice that when you're riding. And these Shinkos, they're a little bit softer, but it's really not a bad thing and, and you really, you really do appreciate it. Now, I haven't changed anything as far as my front suspension setup. Um, that's pretty much stayed the same. I've noticed that these tires, for some reason, they like to, they totally just ignore tar snakes. Now, I've, I've, I've run over tar snakes in wet. I've run over them in the dry. And I've had a, a Metzler Triple Eight on here. I've had the Commander 2 on here. And, and I've noticed that those tires, when it comes to tar snakes, they, full, they do not ignore them they know that they are there now um, with this Shinko 777 as you can see it's been wearing pretty good and I'll try and give you a little better view of that I really didn't want to move the camera but I'll try and give you a little better view of that but it's been wearing pretty good wearing pretty even as you can see here and as I've stated before I I can't complain now I know a lot of people think when they hear Shinko they think oh a cheap tire um, you know not really worth anything isn't any good or whatever the fact whatever the case may be but i honestly have to say um after especially speaking with a buddy of mine uh anthony's west 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 texas rides that i have nothing nothing but impressed with these tires and would i buy them again of course you better believe i would buy them again Rear tire, although a little bit, a little bit hard to reach, a little bit hard to get a good visual on, and you can see the wear on my rear tire as of as of lately right now. Let me just see if I can adjust this a little bit. You know, I'm riding a cruiser here, as you saw earlier. I gave you a, a scroll around of the bike. Um, once again, this is a rear. Shinko 777. The rear has a little bit more miles on it than the front. This has right now should be about 7,000 miles and I try to corner as much as I can you know <laughs> not crazily but I try to do as much cornering as I can to try and keep this basically from you know having too much of a of a, of a squared profile but you can kind of get an idea for how it looks and what it looks like now like i said before the grip is just amazing um as far you know positive the grips is great the uh the it just the ability of this tire to ignore tar snakes that's like just a, an extra added benefit which I'm still amazed with and I'm not really sure exactly how that is or why that is uh, grip in the wet has been really good I haven't had any any issues with grip in the wet as of yet um, you know you're gonna get a little bit of that flat spot I had that with the commander twos the commander twos I got 19,000 miles out of them which was great you know I, I really couldn't complain about that uh, and but you know my only thing with them you know they have a hard carcass so you get a little bit of a stiffer ride and you end up having to have to soften soften up your sh the rebound on your shock if you have that ability to do so i have the progressive shock so i have that ability to soften the rebound on my shock 
But overall, as you can see, right now I have in the rear, I have approximately five to 6,000 miles on this rear tire. And I think, I want to say that I should be good for, if I can get 9,000 out of these tires, even if I get eight to 9,000, I'll be happy and I'll buy another one. The rear tire I paid, I believe it was like a uh, hundred, maybe 110 bucks at most 110 bucks but i think it was more like around 100 the front tire was around 99 or 90 dollars so and like i said before you know for the riding that i do and the corners that i hit i really can't complain quietness they are very quiet you know you really don't hear anything the bike is pretty loud due to the pipe so you're not going to hear much noise there. you're not going to hear much tire noise there um and uh yeah guys so that's pretty much my thoughts on them. I will try and do another update to once they wear out so that I will know how much miles I'm actually getting out of them. Or if anything, probably what I'll do is I'll just uh, leave a comment down below. But I'll most likely do another video just to show how much miles I'm actually, I've actually gotten out of them or what I'm actually getting out of these tires. But so far today, I'm actually really happy with them. And... I really can't complain like I said the only thing was I had to I had to uh, change up my rebound I had to really firm up my rebound firm that rebound up on a shock because the sidewall is a little bit softer and with the commander 2 being so stiff I had my rebound turned down and <laughs> it was just bouncy bouncy so I had to turn it up a lot just to so that your suspension is working more and taking out a lot of that extra extra bounce that you may be you may be seeing so and this is actually a 170 70 and the front is a 130 90 16 they're both 16 inch 16 inch tires both the front and the back so this is the 170 70 which is a stock size tire which is really nice it rotates really nice um the when i had the commander 2 i had a 180 65 on there which was nice but um you know i prefer to stay with the stock which keeps the speedometer kind of somewhat close it's still off it ke also keeps your revs down and uh, which is not by a lot it's a little bit but for me you know it's enough so that's my review and i hope you guys enjoy it and i thank you all for watching